What's up? Your man here. We've got uh, I've got the the riser set up over here. Uh, we've got our ATX power supply over here. I've got everything connected to the ATX power supply. I don't have any GPUs on here right now. We're gonna touch that in the next video. Uh, right now, we're just gonna talk about the riser connection to the ATX power supply. Now, there's a ton of different ways you can do it. I'm gonna tell you the way that I've learned it, uh, the way that I feel it's best. <clears throat> okay, so here I have a group of four different risers. You have two different Molex risers, and a SATA powered riser and a PCI Express riser. Now, there's a lot of debate on the forums on whether you should or should not use the Molex or the SATA. In my experience, they work fine. According to the spec, they're gonna work fine. What's important to know is that you only wanna have one Molex connected for each cable, and you only wanna have one SATA connected for each cable. And now here you have a PCI Express cable. The reason why this particular one, you can have two or three risers connected to one cable is that it's designed for high wattage output. These others are not. Uh, so if you do want to use these kind of risers, it's important to just have one connection per cable. Now, another thing that's important is sometimes they send you these little cables. This is a PCI Express cable uh, to SATA it allows you to connect it to a SATA. You know, this is garbage. You just need to throw this in the crash. Okay, here's another one. Here's another one. This one is a Molex to SATA. Again, this is garbage. Now you can have this connected. Say you need another, you know, another SATA power or you have more SATA power on your ATX power supply. Sure, you can connect it, but you're going to have problems in the long run. You're better off using the native connection, and that's what I'm going to stress, and that's the big takeaway from this video. Use a direct connection. Don't use any uh, any adapter cables or anything like that. That's only going to cause problems in the future. So here you have your ATX power supply. Uh, inside the box is going to come with four PCI Express connectors and four uh, peripheral connectors, one Molex and three SATA. So, if you're going to do a setup like this, you're going to want to have three risers that are capable of running off of SATA, another riser that's capable of running off of Molex. And you can see how I have it connected here. And now notice, there's only one cable connected on this SATA riser. And here, same thing with the Molex. There's only one connection going to the Molex. All right, one connection is being used on the Molex. Now, this is your PCI Express cable. There's a reason why you can load these up is because they're designed for high wattage GPUs. Now we're only using like 75 watts on one riser and that's max. Uh, maybe that's design load. Uh, anyway, so you can get a little splitter here and connect. So here you have all on six are connected. Now here on the bottom level, SATA riser, uh, PCI Express riser, and PCI Express riser. Uh, so it's important to think about how your terminations are, how, how your connections are gonna go before you choose a power supply. If you're going with a 13 GPU, there's gonna be some other stuff that you need to consider. For example, here is my test bench, and in it, on it, I have uh, Molex cable here, Molex cable here. This motherboard requires that you connect a Molex cable here, here, and I believe there's a SATA cable. I don't know if you need all three or not, uh, but it requires that you connect those to uh, provide auxiliary power to the motherboard. Now, if you're using this for the motherboard, you don't want to also connect it to a riser. You're gonna again, you're gonna be starving the cable, which was not designed. To, to power. So just to summarize the video, PCI Express riser, Molex riser, SATA riser. One cable, one riser. One cable, one riser. Two, three risers on one cable. PCI Express is gonna be your most reliable, most stable, but it's not practical. Unless you get a super high wattage 
PSU, which is really, really expensive, three, four hundred bucks right now. It's not going to be possible. Just follow these simple instructions, and your rig's going to work great. All of your risers are connected to your ATX power supply, as I've told you before. All of your GPUs are going to be on your server power supply. So the next video, we're going to show uh, how the two power supplies work together, some pros and some cons of some different power supplies when you're actually using it. There are some issues that you're going to find. We're going to talk about a few of the issues that I've experienced. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell notification button so that you get notified when I upload a new video. You know, we got a lot more content to cover. Share the video with your friends. There's a lot, lot of information that you need to know if you're going to get into mining right now. You want to do it, you want to do it right. So we're going to talk about that right here on this channel. Thanks for watching. Stay metal.